This is an old lady who came to us and presented with raised intraocular pressure and on clinical examination she was found to have a very uh, advanced phacolytic glaucoma. She was uh, medically controlled and taken up for surgery and a manual small incision uh, cataract surgery was planned. So here's uh, me doing the peritomy initially and then after which I go ahead and do some wet field cautery. Then taking a uh, number 15 Bard Parker knife, I fashion my initial frown incision. I'm using my limbs as a fixation point. There is no bridal suture. I then take my crescent blade and sweeping across the wound, I fashion the corneoscleral tunnel, including the scleral pockets. Expect bleeding in this case. Once I am satisfied with my tunnel, I uh, go ahead and make my side port incision and enter the chamber with my keratome. I am not extending at this point. Then with the hydrodissection cannula, I go ahead and wash off all the liquid cortex and the exudates from the anterior chamber and place an air bubble within the anterior chamber under which I place trifan glue to stain the capsule. I now express both the air bubble as well as the trifan glue with 2% HPMC, put some HPMC over the cornea as well and initiate my rexus with the cystitome. It's not going to be easy because there will be liquid cortex coming out and since the bag is loose, we may need a Euthrata forceps for completion and here I'm just extending my incision a little bit to facilitate introduction of the Euthrata forceps and its maneuverability. And I carefully watch the attachment of the flap and go ahead and fashion my rexus. This is a small rexus. This is not going to be adequate. So I increase my incision a little more. In fact, I am almost opening it completely. I take a vanas and make two nicks on either side of the rexus. And you can see both the necks. Now again, taking the uthrata forceps, I will scallop on either side of the rexus. Once done, this is more than adequate. I go ahead and take two dialers and I deliver the nucleus by what I call the pickup technique. I do not try to dial out the nucleus. The bag is a very uh, unstable. Don't do maneuvers within the bag. So I just hold the nucleus, pick it up and bring it out. It's very difficult to dial out nucleus in such a case. You may dial out the entire bag. So once done, I uh, aspirate whatever little liquid cortex is left. Put in my HPMC. And always in such cases, I will put in my rigid IOL in the sulcus. I never trust these bags. The bags may be extremely unstable. And when you try to push in such a lens, such a rigid lens, you may completely dislocate the complex. So the first one has gone in and now I put the second haptic as well. 
I once again go ahead as per all the HPMC and if there is any cortex or X dates that also comes out as well. I hydrate my wounds and to close the conjunctiva I just given a subconjunctiva in the peritomy flap. I do not put any suture. This is more than adequate. Thank you.